Hey everybody. Today I thought I'd do a quick review on my new Ocean KG Q10H. This is an amateur radio, uh, handy talkie, portable. Uh, it's quad band, so it not only covers the standard 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands, but also the 1.25 meter and the 6 meter bands. Um, it is also able to receive AM aircraft uh, bands, which is pretty cool. So, anyways, if any of you guys are familiar with some of the Ocean products, um, I do have a KG935G+, uh, which is a dedicated GMRS radio. Very similar to this as far as the build quality, how the menus, how the screen works, etc. Uh, this particular one is kind of cool. What they did on the KGQ10H was at the very top, you've got your volume knob to turn it on and off. Um, and then instead of having a separate knob on the side, they do have a selector knob under the volume knob that allows you to change your channels. And then when you're in on your menus, it also takes you through the, the menu options, which is pretty cool. This is also a dual display, lets you receive uh, two different channels at the exact same time. Um, like the area button here will allow you to, to switch between the, the top and the bottom, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, you always have your display. Um, you can either display the name. If you press and hold, you can go into frequency mode where you can put in any frequency you want. Um, you can display just the channel number and then the frequency for that particular channel. And then one more press and it brings you back to the, the name. Um, it's cool, there are some programmable function buttons on here. So on the very top, you've got this one here. If you do a short press, what this does, and you'll see it's just, or you'll hear it's just static right now. On the top line, this is your FM, so you can tune in, uh, you can set frequencies for your favorite FM stations. Uh, I don't have any set right now. And then if you do a press and a long hold, um, it turns on the built-in flashlight that's in here. Okay, there's two more uh, programmable buttons on the side. If you short press the top one, that puts you in scan mode for whichever area that you've got your, um, your main display on. You could stop that. And then if you press and long hold it, what this one does is this one will flip back and forth between your standby display brightness and your active display brightness, which is pretty cool. So you can set, like normally I have my active display set to 10, which is the brightest. It also, um, you know, lights up the keyboard. And then you can set the time for how long you want it to go until it goes into the standby display brightness. So you can lower the brightness and then the keyboard uh, brightness will also shut off, uh, which you've seen there. So if I press it again, it gets brighter. It might be kind of hard to see the keyboards lit here. And then after a certain amount of time, it will end up going dimmer and the keyboard will shut off. So uh, that's that one. Um, the bottom one, uh, let's see, we did, yeah, that was the scan. Okay, so the bottom one, press and hold that. That is your monitor button. It basically um, shuts off the squelch so you can hear anything in the background. And then a short press will, will put you into the weather mode. And then it's cool because it's got the weather alert um, that you can set, you know, if, if there's alerts that come, the radio will either um, turn on the, the weather uh, radio broadcast or you can set it to do any kind of a beep, etc. cetera. Uh, there are two transmit buttons here on the side. These are totally programmable. The factory default ones from the uh, factory, the way it comes is the bottom one, and this is kind of counterintuitive, <laughs> but the bottom one will transmit on whatever active display you have on. So right now, the active display is in the bottom. If I were to transmit here, it would actually transmit on that frequency. And then if I click on the top one, it'll click on the... What, what I guess is, if you want to call it the minor display. Um, if I end up switching the area so that now the top area is the major frequency, the, the bottom button will still always do with whatever your current uh, display is on, if that makes any sense. So um, you are able to go into the using the CPS programmable software to program your channels and names and stuff. You are able to, uh, you know, change this, uh, the KGQ10H. Uh, logo on here to let's say your call sign or you know anything custom that, that you'd like to do 
Um, so that's it for that side. And then on the right side, I, I do have the, you know, the waterproof. This is, uh, you know, it's like splash proof, etc. I don't think it's necessarily submersible. Uh, maybe if it is, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I did take it off. Uh, your programming cable fits in here. Um, and then also if you have an external uh, speaker microphone, which I've been using, that's why I have the cover off. Uh, the other cool thing is there is also on this one, unlike the GMRS version, the uh, the KG 935G Plus, where they have the, uh, the USB-C charge port on the battery, this one is actually in the radio. And then there's a light that lights up green or red to show you that it's charging, um, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, this radio kit also comes with a drop-in charger that you can end up, you know, dropping it in. So um, one other thing I wanted to cover, it's kind of cool. What they did on this one, there's actually two sets of menus. So instead of having one menu that, that's get jammed with everything for the radio and for the channel stuff, they've kind of split it into two. So this green button is your menu button. If you go uh, do a quick press on it, you'll see that you've got some of your radio settings, and then you just turn this knob up here, squelch, your transmit power, uh, the step, this is your CTCSS. So this is kind of channel specific type things, which is cool. If you press the red one, it'll take you out of the menu. If you do a long press on the menu, uh, this actually takes you into the menus for the, the radio itself. This is where you could set your active display, uh, how long that how long it stays in the active until um, you know it goes into the standby mode, etc. So uh, the one quirk I did note, and I do have a uh, message uh, to into by twowayradios.com. I wanted to uh, figure this thing out. What's interesting is the channel knob up here. Uh, as you turn it clockwise, your channels do go up, you know, in frequency 206, 207, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, if you go into your first menu, as you turn it clockwise, your menus also go up, right? Six, seven, eight and so on. Um, what's weird is if you go into the other menu with the long press, that one, as you turn clockwise, that menu actually seems to go backwards. So you're at 45, 44, 43. Um, I did reach out. There's another YouTuber out there called Gadget Talk. He actually did a really, really cool um, review on this radio also. Um, I did reach out to him to see if he had the same kind of quirk, and he said, yeah, his works actually the exact same way that mine does, which is kind of strange. But anyways, I wanted to get uh, by two-way radios um, comments on that to see if that was normal and, you know, why they did it. It's kind of counterintuitive. Uh, the other thing I also wanted to know is when I do have the volume on the volume knob here, uh, there is a little bit of friction, which is good as you turn it louder and softer. The only thing is I do notice there's a little bit, let me see if I can get this a little closer. There is a little bit of play in the knob uh, back and forth uh, without physically, you know, changing the volume. Just trying to see if that's, um, that's normal too. So um, anyways, this thing has been pretty good so far. Um, I'll leave a link to uh, to buy two-way radios for this actual uh, radio that's out there. Um, this radio I did end up purchasing myself along with all the other equipment. Uh, I know I'm coming up to almost 500 subscribers. I hope I can get to a point where I've got enough subscribers and maybe, you know, some of these companies will send me some stuff to review. But in the meantime, while I'm kind of a a small guy out there, um, yeah, it's always on my own dime. So anyways, uh Leave a comment um, if you have any questions that I can help you with on this. Um, there's some other pretty decent reviews on there. Uh, the other thing is, oh, the last thing, this radio does come in uh, four different colors. There's an all-black version. Uh, there's a green, there's a red, and then, of course, this blue. According to right now, and today's date is, uh, I don't even know what we're at. Today is January 9th, 2004. Uh, their website says that the blue and red ones are on back order. Um, they won't uh, be estimated to ship until the 10th, which is coming up. So uh, shouldn't be out of stock very long. All right, that's it. Uh, hopefully this was maybe helpful, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.